السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ربی شرلی صدری و سرلی عمری وحل القدم ملسانی رفقف خولی ویلکم ٹو صوفی وائس ڈاٹ کام دا وائس آف ہیومینٹی اٹ ہیڈ بین اے لانگ ٹائم دیٹ وی ہیڈ انٹریکٹیڈ اینڈ ہیڈ اے سیشن ایز یو آل نو دس منتھ ایز ویری ویری پریشیس ٹو دا صوفیز In this holy month, I thought of sharing with you a book written by Hazrat Sheikh Abdul Khadar Jilani <coughs> and translated by Sheikh Taisun Parak Al-Zahiri. All the credit and blessings be to the Sheikh for his wonderful work of translating the book in English. Without his efforts, we would have not reached or we would have not got the magnificent work of the great saint Sheikh Abdul Khadar Jilani Rahmatullah Alameen. In a series of talks, I would be playing the role of an orator and again I say all the credit goes to the translator Sheikh Tarsin Barak Al-Zahiri. May Allah be pleased and reward him. So let's get started with the great work, The Secret of Secrets, which is considered to be one of the greatest works of classical Sufi mysticism and interpreted for the first time in English by Sheikh Taisun Barak Al-Zahiri, which was originally written by Sheikh Hazrat Sheikh Abdul Khadar Jilani Pirane Peer, the master of masters and the founder of Khadriya order. The first of the great Sufi brotherhoods which radiate throughout the Islamic world. Hazrat was born near Caspian Sea and he was the son of great saint Fatima Bint Abdul Al Samari after a period of intense intellectual and mystical training Hazrat Sheikh Abdul Khadar Jilani rahmatullah alamin received the khirqa that is robe of initiation and was soon recognized as a saint and scholar and consulted loved and revered by the khalifa and pauper alike As one of the most venerated figures in Sufism, still Hazrat's place of rest attracts people from all over the world. The Secret of Secrets is a wonderful book, holy book that reveals in a brief compass the very essence of Sufism, showing how outward practices such as prayer fasting and arms giving contain a wealth of inner dimensions which must be discovered and cherished if external actions are to be performed in a manner pleasing to allah when this is achieved the soul finds true peace and the spiritual life becomes complete the book forms a manner of pleasing allah when this is achieved the soul finds true peace and the spiritual life becomes complete the book forms a bridge between two of the other great works great and famous works wealth for seekers okay is one book which is gunayatul taliban talibin and this openings of the unseen fatawal al ghaib it is said that unless one has discovered the secret one may not be able to absorb the impact of the openings so with a great respect towards the great saint let us start our first chapter chapter 1 
man's return man's return home to the original source man is considered from two points of view his material being and his spiritual being in the appearance of material being everyone is more or less equal therefore in this respect one may apply to humanity general laws in his spiritual being hidden behind his appearance each person is different therefore special private laws apply to him man in accordance with general laws by following certain steps can return to his origin to take the steps he follows the evident or our religion as a guide following them he advances rising from level to level he may reach the stage of the spiritual path passing into the realm of wisdom that is a very high state the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam praises this state saying there is a state in which all and everything is gathered and it is the divine wisdom to reach that level one must one must and first has to abandon false appearances and the hypocrisy of doing things so that others might see or hear then one must set for oneself three goals these three goals are actual three paradises the first one is called maf mawa the paradise of the security of home that is the earthly paradise the second is called naim the garden of delight of allah's grace upon his creatures which is the paradise within the angelic realm the third is called firdaus the heavenly paradise that is the paradise in the realm of the unity of the casual mind house of the souls of the divine names and attributes these are the rewards the beauties of allah which the material man will taste in his efforts in the three successive stages of knowledge efforts in following the re- religious pursuits that is sharia efforts in eliminating the multiplicity in himself fighting the cause of his multiplicity which is his ego in order to reach the state of unity and come close to his creator tariqa and finally in his efforts to reach the state of divine wisdom wisdom marifa whereby he will come to know his lord <coughs> sorry his lord the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the con- <coughs> conclusion of the previously mentioned tradition there is a state in which all and everything is gathered and it is the divine wisdom says with it one learns the truth which g- gathers within itself all causes and all good then one must act upon this truth one must know falsehood and act upon it abandoning all of it and he says o lord show us the truth and make it our lot to follow it and teach us that which is false and make it easy for us to avoid it and he who knows his self and opposes its wrong desires truly comes to know his lord and follows his wishes these are the general rules which apply to the material being of man then there is a spiritual being of man or the spiritual man who is called the pure man his goal is total closeness to allah the only way to do this and is knowledge of truth hakika or hakikat 
in the first created realm of the absolute being of oneness the knowledge is called unity one may hope to reach the goal of this path in this worldly life in that state there is no difference between being awake and being asleep since in sleep the soul may find occasion to escape to its true home the realm the realm of souls and come back and bring news this we call the true dream this event can be partial as in the case of dreams it can also be total as in the case of accession of the prophet sallallahu sallam allah confirms this allah takes max allah allah takes man's soul at the time of their death and those that die not during their sleep then he withholds those on whom he has passed the decree of death he has passed the decree of death and sends the others back till an appointed term surely there are signs in this for a people who reflect surah zumar verse number 42 the prophet sallallahu sallam indicates this state by saying the sleep of the wise is more worthy than the worship than the worship of the ignorant the wise or those who have acquired the knowledge of truth that has no letters no sound that knowledge is received through the continuous repetition of the divine name of unity with the secret tongue the wise or those who whose core is turned into divine light by the light of you by the light of unity Allah speaks through his prophet sallallahu sallam and says man is my secret and i am his secret the inner knowledge of the spiritual essence ilm al batin is a secret of my secrets only i put this into the heart of my good servant and none may know his state other than me and i am as my i am as my servant knows me when he speaks me and remembers me i am with him if he seeks me inwardly i seek him with my essence if he remembers and mentions me in good company i remember and declare him as my good servant in all that is said here the only way to satisfy one's wish is meditation that means of knowledge which the common man uses so seldom at the prophet of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a moment's reflection is worth more than a year's worship A moment's reflection is worth more than 70 years of worship. A moment's reflection is worth more than 1000 years of worship. The value of every action is hidden in the essence of truth. The act of a moment's meditation here appears to have three different values. Whoever com- contemplates an affair and seeks its cause finds that each of its parts has many parts of its own and finds that each of this is the cause of many other things this is a contemplation that is if that is worth a year's worship whoever contemplates his devotion and seeks the cause and reason and comes to know it his meditation is worth 70 years of worship whoever contemplates the divine wisdom with a strong wish to know allah most high 
his meditation is worth a thousand years of worship. For this is the true knowledge. True knowledge is the state of unity. The wise lover unites with his beloved. From this maternal realm, flying with spiritual wings, he soars to the realm of attainment and devotes walk to paradise while the wise fly to the realms close to their Lord. Lovers have eyes in their hearts. They see while others are staring blind. Such wings they have not to flesh and blood. They fly towards angels, their Lord to find. This fight occurs in the inner world of the wise. They receive the honor of being called true men, the beloved ones, the beloved ones of Allah, his intimates, his brides, the saint Abjad al bithami May Allah sanctify his secret, says the holder of wisdom or the bribes of Allah most high. Others as well desire them by saying that those who come close to Allah become the bribes of Allah. Only the loving processors, only the loving process of brides know them intimately. These wise servants who become intimates of Allah, though beautiful, or covered by the appearance of ordinary men. Allah speaks through his Prophet وسلم, saying, My intimates are hidden under my domes. None can recognize them but me. The domes under which Allah hides his friends are their undistinguished ordinary appearances. When one looks at a bride, covered by her wedding veil, what, what one can see but the veil. The secret says, the beloved of Allah or the perfume of Allah upon this world, but only the true sincere believers have noses to smell them. They smell that beautiful perfume and they follow that smell. That for perfume creates a earning in the hearts of their Lord. Each in his own way increases his pace, his efforts, his devotion. The degree of this earning, his wish and the speed of his pace are in proportion to his lightness, to his having shed the weight of his worldly self for the more one takes off the coarse clothing of this old this world the more one feels the warmth of one's creator and the closer to the surface inner being comes closeness to the truth is in relation to the amount of false materiality one has thrown away in giving away one's multiple aspects, one comes closer to the holy truth. The intimate of Allah is he who has brought himself to nothingness. Only then can he see the existence of the truth. There is no will left in him to choose. There is no I left other than the only existence which is the truth. Although all manner of miracles have come together through him to prove this state, he has nothing to do with them. In, in his state, there is no disclosure of secrets because divulging the secret of divinity is infidelity. In a book called Mirsid, it is written, all men through whom miracles appear or willed from an unconcerned about their states. From them, from them, the times when miracles appear are considered to be like the periods of menstruation for women. Saints who are intimate with Allah 
have to travel through at least a thousand stages, the first of which is the door of miracles. Only those who are able to pass through this door unharmed can reach the other stages. If they become involved, they will get nowhere. So that brings us to the end of the first chapter. Hope this has brought you a few words of knowledge and it is up to us in our hands how to use the knowledge and wisdom of the great work. See you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.